So in this part, we're going to talk about canal memory pools. A pool refers to a heap in the canal. We're going to talk about the different types of pools. Let's get started. So for whatever reason, Windows calls their canal heap a pool, and it doesn't really meet the general definition of what a pool type is, which makes it confusing at first. Because basically, a pool is an allocator that uses some set of dedicated pages, and those pages have fixed size allocations. So all allocations of the same size would be held on the same pages and different pages are for different sizes. Whereas on Windows, any chunk size can all be on the same page. So in terms of definition, the kernel pool are more like a generic heap. So there are two main heaps or pool heaps in the Windows kernel. One of them is pageable and the other one is non-pageable. So for instance, code that runs at dispatch level, which is not able to deal with page faults, has to only access memory in the non-page pool, because by definition, the allocation on the non-page pool will never be paged out. So the allocation will always be backed with actual memory. And it's interesting to know that two types of pools exist, the page pool and the non-page pool. And this is because a lot of the time, if you're in a scenario where you want to exploit a heap, corruption vulnerability like a use after free, people will always make the distinction like if it's a use after free on the non-page pool or if it's a use after free on the page pool. And this is because since the page pool and the non-page pool are different heaps, so they are in different areas in memory. So usually you want to replace the free ch chunk before triggering the use after free, but it means you have a different set of structures of objects that you can put on the non-page pool or respectively on the page pool. So it will heavily dictate what kind of interaction you're able to do with the kernel in order to exploit the said vulnerability. Also, it's worth saying that every chunk of memory on a pool has a dedicated pool header structure in line right in front of its allocation. Basically, the information looks like this, which is holding pretty standard information for heap chunks. So we have previous size, which is the size of the chunk preceding in memory. You have the block size, which is the size of the current chunk, which we are looking at. Then you have the pool type, which basically indicates like non-page pool or page pool, as we've just described. Then you have the pool type, which is basically used to associate like the subsystem in the kernel that made that allocation. So you can easily look up what type of object it's likely to be. And so fortunately, winbag has this bank pool command and you can give it an address on a pool and it will tell you if it's an allocated or free chunk and it will tell you the page where it's allocated. And it will tell you all the information such as the pool tag, which I've just described, which is in this case is npr4, which tells us it's the npfs.sys driver who made the allocation. So on top of the already mentioned page pool and non-page pool types, there is two other pools worth mentioning, which are the look aside list and the kernel LFH, like low fragmentation heap. And so the look aside lists are used for faster allocations, usually of, of small size. And so sometimes when exploiting bugs in the kernel, you might encounter a scenario where you want to force an object to be freed and this object will be saved into a look aside list. So it's good to know it this exists in case you, you encounter this scenario. And finally, you have the KLFH. And so basically on userland, there has been the low fragmentation heap for a while. And this is a type of heap where the chunks of the same size are allocated on dedicated pages. And so Microsoft added a new pool type recently in the kernel that is called KLFH for kernel low fragmentation heap. And basically the KLFH pool is a real pool in that different objects of different types are allocated on separated pages. And this seems to be quite effective to make many use after free vulnerabilities hardly exploitable. And so it is like the actual definition of pool, not Microsoft non pool pools. And so KLFH exists since Windows 10 1809 but it was initially disabled by default and it was only enabled by default in the following version, 1903. 